What does it mean for you to express gratitude, to give thanks? Is it saying thank you when somebody does something nice for you? Is it maybe sending a thank you card? I, I know that's a little bit old school, but you know, sending a note that it expresses your gratitude. I know over the last 10 years, there have been different times when gratitude challenges have popped up on social media. You know, in these challenges, people for a week or for 10 days or even a month will make postings about things they are thankful for and they'll express their gratitude. I don't know that saying thank you or sending a card or, or even a, an online challenge really gets at the heart of gratitude, of what it means to give thanks. I think gratitude is something that's, that's deeper than just a nice gesture or being polite. I think gratitude, living with gratitude, really has to do with something about who we are and our inner being. I've come to understand gratitude and, and thanksgiving from the perspective of some of the spiritual writing I've read over the years. And, and there's one writer in particular who struck me in terms of how prominent this theme is in his work. The writer is someone who was born in the 15th century in Spain. His name is Francisco de Asunu. Now, de Asuna is somebody whom I assume you have not heard of, but he is a, a sort of founding figure in Spanish mysticism. His writings inspired Teresa of Avila and many other Spanish mystics. And one of the things that he expresses about gratitude and giving thanks is a metaphor that I think is very helpful. He writes about a fruit tree. Imagine a fruit tree. It's planted in the ground. It's nourished through its roots and the soil and the gentle rain and the warmth of the sun. And in time, after receiving all of these things, never having asked for them, but still being graciously given all these things, it produces fruit. It produces maybe an orange. And it does so as a way of expressing gratitude. Think about that for a moment. Deyasuna is saying that gratitude is about re having received and recognizing that we've received and then giving, not giving back to the person who gave to us. It's not quid pro quo. It's not because you gave me something, I'm going to give you something. Instead, it's taking what's been received and using it in a way that produces something of value for someone else. You know, the sun isn't going to eat that fruit, neither is the rain. But a person may eat that fruit or a bird or, or a squirrel. And that juicy, ripe fruit will be a gift, a gift from the tree a gift from the tree's self, if you will. So what Deyasuna is suggesting is that our ability to express gratitude is related to that process of having been graciously given to, of being given freely of many things, and from receiving, we give the best that we have to offer. You know, this idea of freely given, not to people who we owe things to, but to people we may not even know, to others who may never be part of our life, but whom we connect with in a tangential way. That's captured in a practice that's actually rooted in Jewish spirituality, a random act of kindness. Now, that's something you may have heard of before. Uh, a random act of kindness is doing something unexpected for some person at random, often for someone you don't know. And it's a practice meant to teach people to, to give as well as to share with others, to be generous, to open ourselves up. Uh, and, and so, you know, a random act of kindness may be paying the toll for the person who's in the car behind us or, or something unexpected. 
And it's that kind of generosity, that giving back, that Deyasuna understood as being crucial to gratitude, that we're really expressing gratitude and thanksgiving when we're able to give. And it isn't so much the what we give, because we all have different abilities, but it's that we give. So that thanksgiving and giving are intricately intertwined. About 10 years ago, I first moved to Atlanta and I was taken off guard by something that's quite common here. I was in a grocery store and having my groceries, you know, checking out, somebody was packing my groceries. And the woman who was packing my groceries uh, put the final bag in my cart and she paused. And she looked me in the eye and said, I appreciate you. I was really caught off guard. I mean, I, I had presence of mind to say thank you, but no one had ever said that to me in that kind of context before. And that's something that I hear quite commonly here. Here she was doing something for me, packing my groceries, and her response was to say that she appreciated me. That's a practice of gratitude. That's a practice of recognizing that the people who come into our life, even strangers, even people for whom we're doing things, that we are thankful for them, that we appreciate them, that we appreciate the kindness that they show us. Thanksgiving, it's not about a meal. It's not about the turkey dinner or the day or football games. Giving thanks isn't about sending a card or sentimentality. A spiritual root in thanksgiving is about living in a way that expresses gratitude, that expresses gratitude and gives back so that we are thankful. And because we are thankful, we in turn become gracious givers. We give what we can of ourselves for the betterment of others. Know today that I appreciate you. I appreciate that you take time to watch the videos on this channel, to think with me about dimensions of spirituality, and to consider ways to live better. I appreciate that you subscribe to this channel, that you click the bell, and most especially, I appreciate when you leave comments to help me understand how what I'm sharing is of relevance or not to your life. So know that I appreciate you and I'm thankful for your presence today.